Okay, folks, well, I got this uh, Sun Spark station for $103 landed on eBay. And uh, I put, I fixed the NVRAM on it. It was very similar to the uh, years ago in 98, I ran across a, uh, a Sun Spark station for Slant 330 and repurposed it. So this is fun. So I went ahead and hacked a couple of AA batteries onto it to the to the NVRAM. I installed the DVD uh, writer in the machine. I would say hello to Mr. Atari portfolio over there. This is for my uh, for my TV actually. Um, and then yeah that Morrow Micro Decision actually works. It's running right now. Um, okay so after uh, putting a 40 gig drive in it um, I'm trying to stand you up and having a hard time doing it. There you go. Uh, so I, I reprogrammed the the uh, the NVRAM uh, to uh, to boot, and then I uh, put a 40 gig drive in it. I put some extra memory in it. I put uh, a Sun PCI uh, coprocessor card in it, which I'm planning to implement real soon. Right now, it's not though. Uh, also, it's got a SCSI controller with a, a separate uh, uh, HME uh, Ethernet jack, so it's actually got two Ethernet adapters in it. Um, so I chose uh, OpenBSD for it because it's the most modern operating system that has X support built in. So, well, I mean, okay, that's one reason, but I also like it. I mean, after after using it, it doesn't have uh, a system CTL. Um, it has uh, it's 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 a little more straightforward than Linux has become. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a, so it's it's fun anyway. So I got uh, I got that running. I got uh, an X server running, which came up right away actually on install. And uh, let's see here. Okay, so we'll log in as me. There we go. So. Now I don't use the the uh, XDM manager. I mean, I just haven't. Uh, uh, it, it's another level of configuration, and I was just like, screw it. I mean, just getting getting this up and going. Uh, it, most of the uh, most of the X Windows desktop programs like KDE or GNOME are just too heavy for this machine. But this combination I found was actually pretty tolerable. So which is um, IceWM uh, with uh, PCMan FM uh, file manager as the desktop manager. So it gives, it gives me the ability to make a background uh, and things like that, which is kind of cool. Um, Ice, Ice Windows gives me the virtual desktops and some launchers, which is cool also. Uh, I have Dillo installed as the main browser, which uh, the reason why is because nothing else n n sexier has been ported uh, to this architecture on the, at this speed. I mean, I can't get Chrome or uh, Firefox uh, to run. So, I mean, they're not compiled. Maybe I could compile it and maybe it would run. I don't know. So, are you blurry? Okay, there we go. Um, so, uh, so here's, uh, Dillo, which is kind of cool. So this is, it's running this browser, uh, native on the, on, on the, on the bare metal, but you know, it's just Dillo, so like some things aren't gonna aren't gonna render right. But if if you you know, but I have X set up, and X Windows is such that you can dog on do whatever you want. So if I just go ahead and over into uh, uh, my other machine here, a Linux machine running, uh, and I can run uh, Firefox anyway. Uh, in a window on this machine, even though it's running over on the on the Linux box, processing is actually occurring there. Uh, so we'll go. Uh,
and there you go Mozilla Firefox just popped up but the actual the actual window is running on uh, on my notebook running uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux right now so let's see here what else have we got oh XCD roast that is really cool that XCD roast works so uh, so this is this is actually a pretty capable machine. I mean, you could I, I would like to have a uh, native office package for it. There doesn't appear to be anything compiled in that order for it. So it might be worthwhile to compile doggone open office or something like that. But uh, so that's been my adventure. Uh, still working on I've got virtual terminal. I'm still working on virtual consoles. I don't know why, but virtual consoles on. Sun, they don't just default to, you know, all control F1, F2, F3, F4 and give you virtual consoles. You've got to work it through some anyway. I'm not sure. Maybe it's easy and I'm just dumb. So, uh, thanks for watching.